need to log on early. I, I missed the ride last time, the group ride. Didn't log in on time. Are you sitting at the start line already? No, because I don't think you can yet. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna go set up too. Okay, I'm gonna go put four. I will not miss another one. You want your dress on? Arms up. She's wearing it. We were wearing it last night. And I said, can I wear it in the morning? Did you love it? I love her. You love her? Uh huh. Mummy's oh. no good at tying clothes. There you go. Just gonna have a look at herself in the mirror. <laughs> Tim would have gone to Brazil already this mm -hmm. year. We both would have gone to Texas. You would have done an Iron Man. We would have gone to also California for photo shoots. Yep. We would have, I would have done an Iron Man. And we'd be in Europe right and now for the Collins Cup. And we'd be in Slovakia Cup. for the Collins Cup right now. So, like, it seems crazy to think that we would have yep. done all of that in the last eight weeks. Yep. And it's, we've just been here. It's actually been nice to stay home, but. Remember when we got back from Australia and you were, uh... We didn't go to the camp in Vegas because mm -hmm. you're like, I just want to stay home. Yeah, because we've been traveling. Ten weeks like, later, we have not left home. Non-stop since she was born. <laughs> <laughs> we needed it. Yeah, definitely want to race. I don't. We don't miss travel, to be honest. Yeah, it's too. It's so hard. It's with Izzy and like all the packing and it's hard work. But the racing part's good once you get there. Yeah. Aww, that's a nice snuggle. Yeah, it's definitely a weird different summer but 
I think for us, we've been hustling for like the last 15 years, <laughs> like racing and like, I mean, I had the like gap year when I was pregnant with Izzy, oh, but still I, I was traveling heaps that year, yeah. doing appearances. And then as soon as she was born, like, we were Kona six weeks later and pretty much didn't stop. So it's kind of been nice to stop. Yeah. You want to go travel somewhere? Uh-huh. I don't, I think we definitely like, <laughs> want to go ready to go somewhere we now now we're just like wanting to go on adventures in the mountains and i'm like i want to go camping yeah let's do stuff that we never have time to do off-roading and now izzy's like big enough to have fun with stuff like that Can I have oh my God. you don't you want your shades sunnies? like mommy uh -uh. okay okay you want to hold put in my pocket <laughs> Let's do it, Is. Let's do it. We're going on adventures. Uh-huh. Who loves adventures? <laughs> this guy. Say, I love adventures. I love adventures. Mommy, last time we did this, mommy crashed in the bushes. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Mommy did, because she was looking for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> go, mommy, go. routine is to take a nap with Izzy um, and especially today I'm quite tired we had a uh, our first group run sessions back this week so definitely feeling it today um, yeah so nap time and then um, yep. swim gym this afternoon um, can you guys push that out to the registrants or this is a rare time it's quiet in the house uh, Izzy and Rennie are taking their midday nap and it's a chance for me to get some office work done so I just had uh, several phone calls um, doing an endurance conference in June. I'm going to speak at that, a virtual conference, and then uh, chatting with the team over at UCAN, planning out some uh, strategy stuff for some, uh, some events and some virtual engagements. And what else? Oh, getting ready for the Father's Day event. Uh, I'm talking with the guys at T-Zero and planning that little fun Father's Day uh, broadcast. So, yeah, it's good. It's... Um, you know, it would be nice to nap too, but some of this other stuff's got to get done. So that's why we go get coffee right now. <laughs> Going with the two glasses today? Do I have two glasses on? Oh my gosh. Take the, don't put that on me. I like these ones better. <laughs> God. I gotta send my older brother Thomas some gear. He ran out of tires, he said. Oh yeah. I tried to ship this on with FedEx yesterday. It would have been 61 bucks. And we've gotten there in like 12 days. 26 bucks with the postal service in three days. Maybe that's why they go bankrupt. <laughs> Give another 
couple minutes. Yeah. Twelve seconds later. Should we put your shoes on? No. Who's that? Yeah. Hey, put your finger out like this. Like this. Can I, can I like it? <laughs> yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. You can put your hands oh, no. here. no. Hopefully it comes back it on. It should turn back on right back on. There you go. You ready, babe? Ready is. Here we go. Do I want the horn? primarily is strength. So the six reps with the heavier load when they're doing a split squat. And then in between, because they're so uh, economical and aerobically fit, we can use that time as active recovery. So we're gonna just keep activating the glutes um, using the Rotate mini bands. Rotate into that lead leg, but anchor in on this leg. <laughs> so you always have to remember when you're setting up the MOBO board, you're going down into the big toe so that the big toe, bring me your big toe. Don't look at it. That's all right. Load out, Kenny. That is where we want to load a lot of weight and be really strong, boom, down into the big toe. It's incredibly powerful. So now I'm like this. Yep. Big toe power, baby. <laughs> That's my nickname we call it big toe. <laughs> big toe. Big toe power. <laughs> Yeah, training has definitely been a lot more relaxed since we've been in in lockdown, um, knowing that there's no races um, on the calendar and every time we look they just kept getting cancelled and pushed back. So uh, we made our training sort of um, relax a little because we didn't want to be super fit and have no race to go to. So uh, we wanted to make sure we're fresh for when we actually do have a race to prepare for. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've definitely lost fitness. I was about mm, four weeks from an Ironman when we sort of found out that everything was locking down, so I was in pretty good shape. And um, yeah, we kind of backed that down. As much as it sucks to have built up all that fitness in the off season and you know be almost ready for an Ironman, uh, to lose all that fitness wasn't that fun, but there's no point in holding onto it. It's kind of impossible to keep pushing that hard for months on end with no race in sight. So we're basically in off season mode, which means more time with Izzy, um, more flexibility in our training, um, more adventure rides, which has been really fun here in Boulder. We uh, don't typically have time when we're here to ride, you know, our gravel bikes or mountain bikes. And we're kind of on the TT bike. So it's kind of been nice just to explore some different, go on hikes, um, and explore some different roads and not be so st structured. And yeah, I mean, we, we're pretty relaxed here and we'll just kind of keep rolling along until we find out what the plan is. Here's a blankie. Oh, thank you. Okay. Bring it up from this. It's probably easier here, here now if you want. Well, I don't have to leave the garage open. Yeah, it's fine. It'd be easy to leave it in there because then you don't take back. Oh. I, don't, I don't know why she needs to do this right now. What's that? Okay, so you're just hanging out in your tri kit?
Love you. Doing my chores before I have a shower. Right Doing my chores before ah. I have a shower. I know, but I usually do this. Okay. Yeah, look good, but you take you don't do things in my schedule. You do things on your timeline. <laughs> So this is why I hook it up in the garage, because it doesn't leak everywhere. And there's hot water in the garage, so it, it goes really well with the master, the heat of the master saw. But sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> Chef Tio. You like what you see? I need a cup of coffee. So February Kona, um, I mean, I don't want to say we didn't see it coming because we kind of did. I mean, initially I, I didn't see them moving the race. I just yeah. thought it'd be canceled. I didn't think there'd be a Kona yeah. in October, but I'm sort of surprised they've moved it to February. It just makes 2021 a huge year. If you want to race Kona in February, Tim's already qualified and he gets to either do February or October. He can choose which one yeah. he wants to do. I haven't qualified yet because I was planning to do St. George in May. And so now, like whenever I get to do an Ironman, September, October, November, December, I have to qualify. Then you do Kona in February. Then you have to do another Ironman to qualify for October. Like that is a lot of racing and... Um, well, yeah, but then, yeah, how do you... Big commitment. It hasn't really been to find how you qualify for Kona 2 in 2021, right? Yeah. So there's still a lot of unknowns. Um, I mean, my, like when I look at it, if if these, if qualifying races are gonna happen in the fall, that means Kona gonna happen in the fall. Mm -hmm. And if there's a second wave of COVID, then nothing's gonna happen in February. Yeah. So isn't there a better chance of it happening in October? This October, then yeah, February. then February. So why wouldn't you either just cancel it or keep it in October and There's no not worry about qualifying, like figuring out another wave of it? Though. So yeah, basically, uh, we're trying not to really think about it too much. Uh, if we were to try and pick in February, right now would be similar to what we would want to be doing in January if we right. pick in October. So we're just kind of ticking the train. Wait, do you think it would? Do you think it'll have the same feel in February? I don't think it will. Don't know. It already feels kind of like a second thought. Uh, maybe it won't be. Maybe it'll be just the same. But I mean, the weather's going to be different. It's a little cooler in yeah. February, yeah. Um, so race it'll be a, should be a faster race unless yeah. the winds pick up on the unless day. Unless the winds are yeah. Or oh, I feel like there's going to be an asterisk around like the world champion for February. Yeah. Can you break the course record in February? Does it count? Yeah. Will be <laughs> if. It, it's broken, you know what I'm saying? then it's an asterisk, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I just wish, I would have preferred them to just cancel it. And um, I think that's the fairest because then everybody basically starts qualification period again. Um, whoever's already qualified gets to go to Kona in October, right. but everyone else uh, needs to get their slots in. And I wonder if, I think they're doing a lot of legacy slots, right? But I wonder yeah. if they have the option too. Like, are they all going to defer to October twenty twenty one as well? And then, I mean, yeah. they'll fill. I imagine they'd fill the slots. I mean, there's a lot of people that would just love to go to Kona no matter what, right? Yeah. Yeah, and going to Kona in February. Yeah. What about Escaping what about the, um, the industry people? What do they do? Do they go to? That's an expensive trip for industry people. Well, it's a big year for industry people because you've got two world titles. Well, four with. There'll be two 70.3 world titles and then the Olympics. So there's a lot of bonuses to be paid out next year. Right. Be... Well, too, just even like expo costs and bringing your team out, shipping out your inventory. Yeah. Doing that twice off of a year where your your sales have probably yeah. been seriously affected. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, I mean... I... Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking out loud. It's... And... <laughs> it's a lot. For us... We just kind of wait and see, play the waiting game. 
Yeah. There's no need for us to be in great shape right now. So we just take the training over and act like we're in off-season mode. Yeah. I, uh, you can't... For me right now, like... I can't be... I'm not 22. I can't be race-ready all year, you know? Yeah. And it takes a lot. And you, you don't want to burn any matches right now. That's for sure. Yeah. But there's other things you can also work on, you know? Like working on your bike position or, you know, run form or some strength. But not your swimming, because you can't swim at the pool. Not your yet. swimming. <laughs> <laughs> there's always, there's like always yeah. a long list of weaknesses that, you know, get overlooked in the off season because all of a sudden it's time to race and you just get fast and, and go. So, yeah. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to yeah. work on those things. All right, it's way too late in the night to be talking shop, my love. Mm-hmm. Is it time for a Monopoly deal? Yeah, it's yeah. time for the deal. <laughs> We're going to go play some Monopoly deal. Who won the last hand um, we played, by the way? Just wondering. Oh, you won one game in like the last <laughs> 10. Hey, I had a swim coach. Yeah, my old swim coach in high school said you're only as good as your last race. I don't believe that's true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Think about it. <laughs> Sign off. John Sloyan, the <laughs> Sloy Dog. <laughs> you're only as good as your last race. I'm sure he didn't come up with that saying. <laughs> that's like so... He's acting like he he's a groundbreaking guy. John, if you're, if you're being, watching, let us know if that was an life. original saying. You've never heard this before in your life. I'm going to blow your mind right now. It's when you're 17, it's oh groundbreaking. Everyone's heard that a million times. <laughs> <laughs> so brutal, guys. She's so mean to her husband. <laughs> I am not. Just try to keep it real. You have to have thick skin when you marry an Aussie. Listen, I just am not going to be like, oh, you're amazing. <laughs> it's like, true. <laughs> 10 years of not being amazing. <laughs> Sometimes you're amazing. Keeps you honest. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't tell me the same thing. I do. Remember you were the king of the world. I know. No, you didn't. Remember you were walking down no, after... I don't remember. You do remember? I don't remember. <laughs> but if I said something stupid, you would jump all over me. That's true. Don't pretend that I'm the mean one. So I'm the nice one. She is. Mm-hmm. She is. Kind and loving. <laughs> anyway... We hope you enjoyed this right, episode deal. of boring, our boring life. I'm going to defend my title. And Tim's going to lose this ep- this um, <laughs> game of Monopoly deal. It's going down. Let's deal. Yeah. First, Having some adventure life is fun and and everything makes sense. Um, I said, any of you, and be quiet for any of you, mom and dad. And we'll and be quiet for you. Sorry, Izzy. We're going to be quiet for your interview. Okay, keep going. Go um to the next page. So I, I am, I am a, a nothing about everything. So this is myself. Thank you. <laughs>